welcome once again to this channel welcome to my channel um today we're going to be designing a flyer um the flyer you saw when this video was beginning we're going to be trying it out and i'm going to import the design i already made yeah i've already designed the flyer and what i'm going to be doing is to actually start it afresh to show you guys how i did everything i did in this flyer okay and if you're new to this channel do well to subscribe to this channel as we post good content we post amazing designs amazing strategies on how to make good designs with your phone with your with your pixel lab and other apps okay so do well to subscribe to this channel if you are new and you have not subscribed yet and always anticipate our videos every week okay so right ahead we'll, we'll get to this video now the first thing we're going to do now you see that the fly you want to model is already in a square so no need of changing our background size so we leave it as square and the first thing we're going to bring in is our background the background you're seeing there all right so i'll go to my gallery and okay so this is the background we have this background so we are going to turn it upside down yeah turn it upside down okay so let's just take this let's just hide it somewhere okay then we stretch out our background and we move it up so I think we'll turn it off to this side. Yeah. Okay, something like this. Yeah. Then let's make our background color black because I want to reduce the opacity of this background. This image we imported so that when I reduce the opacity, I will still get a black color. Yes, yeah, something like this. Okay so okay so i'll go ahead to lock it all right so now what is the next thing we have to do in this design now you can see that um there's something i applied in the middle of this design something like a light and this is what i did just click on sticker once you click on sticker this thing appears this white stuff appears tap on your screen and now you can change this to any color you want to okay you can change so i'll choose changing it to yellow yes so if i change to yellow you can see the kind of effect it will give my background then i can do what to decrease the opacity something like this all right so that's it and i'm going to lock this i'm going to lock it out all right so the next thing i'm going to do is to bring in the food the food the spaghetti food Right, so this is it. Um, now you can see that here it comes with background. You can actually use a background, a background erasing app to take away the background. But for here or in this design, I'm going to do it manually. Okay, so I'm just going to. Okay, so. Right, something like this okay so i'm going to turn this upside down yes so i'm going to scale it up okay so we can um get the this one here so we'll see the original size and how it's fitted So, all right, so this we have the spaghetti here, and we can do what to also lock that one up. All right, so the next thing we're going to do, let's just add this our white footer over here, okay? So I will know the space we are managing, okay? So adding it over here. We can also do what lock it and now we can bring in other texts other designs all right let's be done with the, the background so we have this attached now the links to all these resources i'm using in this video you will easily find them in the description section so after watching this video do what to go to the description section you'll find all the links you'll be needing for this video um, you find all the images I use in this video, so you'll be finding them. Okay, so 
I, I use this image yeah and also another thing I also used is this pepper you can see at the edge of the design of this here all right so you also find it there yeah something here yeah it's a blood version of pepper okay now on the um what else is remaining okay then, then let's start bringing uh, let's bring our logo in first there's a logo for the locks all right so we just reduce the opacity a bit and we place it over here and then the next thing we're going to do is to start bringing in our text the first thing is deluxe deluxe spaghetti so um we're going to be using this font let's type our spaghetti spaghetti All right so the fonts we are we'll be using is hita green All right so the link to the font is also in the description section hita green yeah this is the font i'm using okay so i'll just give it a little spacing okay so and i will change it to this orange color okay so now i will write a text for deluxe this will be in capital letter deluxe right and i'll be using metropolis font metropolis right so just take it behind okay okay so this is what we have now i'm going to make this shape you're seeing on the price list uh, probably you'll be thinking how i made it this is how i made it okay i'll first forget it block shape and i will size it or size it okay and i will make something i will increase the radius yeah i'll increase it very well okay i'll increase it very well okay so what i'll do next is to go to my crop i will cut part of it okay i'll cut cut part of it all right something like this yes so this is what I have. I already have one part. So what I'll do is I'll copy this and coming over here, I'll go to my rotate. I'll move it here and move it like this. Okay, so I'm going to make sure the two are aligned together with something like this. Okay, so I'll just match the two together and it forms the shape I used for that okay so you can see it's exactly the same shape all right so you, you I believe you you saw how I was able to get that so I'm going to give this a gradient color so I'll just pick a red color over here a red color over here then for this down part i also pick a red color but this part will be darker something like this okay so i'm getting a red gradient all right so i'll take it back to spaghetti and then what i'm going to write there is i'm going to write the price list so i'm still going to use i'm still going to use um this metropolis i used here but i'm going to use a lighter version for it price list i will end up using only two fonts for this design which is metropolis and hita green okay so it shows professionalism we don't need to use the whole font in the world to just create a design okay so we'll just be using two fonts we'll be varying some text font text types ok 
okay so and this is what we have okay now for this other informations we already have it written out somewhere so we just go ahead and copy yeah copy everything and then come over here then copy our price list and use the same font just type this out okay so we just need to take away the spacing we had initially added and we'll increase okay now since we are using center alignment so we'll also center this here and now you can see that we have two colors we have the prices having a different color so we're going to also effect that here let's use a a bolder version of metropolis let's use bold okay so now how do i give this price list a different color altogether i'll go to my color and i'll drag this blue icon this blue space and i will take it to the price the places i want to add so you can see it's changing so i'll just drag it to the place now effect i'll drag it now effect right so that's what i keep doing until i i'm done with every of them each of them i want to effect this on all right so the next thing i'm going to do is this shape that is surrounding them so how do i get it i'll click on my shapes and i will crop it well to make sure it's around them okay something of this nature then i'll give it a reduce okay cover the edges then i'll reduce my opacity yes and i'll increase my stroke then i'll give my stroke the color i want it to be here so something like this now it's thick so i'm going to reduce the stroke to something like this yeah i think it's okay so you can see how i was able to do the shape i see now all right so now i need to adjust this deluxe spaghetti press this so Instead of moving the one by one, I'll show you how you can easily drag everything along. Okay, so I'll just tag or mark what I want to move. This is what I want to move. Okay, so I'll just click on this icon here and I'll click on movement. You can see how I'm moving everything together. I can move them up. Yes. Alright, so the same thing, I also tag this to and i also move them yeah so i think i'm okay with this so the next thing i'm going to do and i think that should be the one of the part of the last thing okay um let me add the phone numbers over here so I'll just copy the phone number So I'll be using the same font I used here. So I'll just copy it and paste. And I'll give this a black black color. Okay, so I wanna copy this one and copy the Instagram. Instagram handle Okay, so we're almost done with this design we're Almost done with this design So the last two things we're going to do to this design is just to bring in our icons and to bring in this leaf we are seeing over here, so what do I do? I will just go ahead and so this is the leaf. Okay, so you can see that it's not every part that I was showing, so I'm just going to carefully 
select a part that will show all right so you can do well to zoom it very well yes yeah, something like this something like this so you can make sure so all right so the last thing we're going to do now is to get is to get our social media icons okay so we'll go straight ahead to get our social media icons so these are the social media icons we'll be using for this design. The WhatsApp and the call will be together. So I'll just erase the colors from them. I'll erase the color from them and I'll give it this red color. Okay, so I'll reduce the size. Okay, so also I'll do the same for the call icon and then I will change the color to this dark red and I also Then finally, I will do the same for this Instagram. Okay, and I will set the size. Okay, so we are done with this design actually. So we should hide the original one. Now you can see that everything we have in the original one is actually what we have here. So I believe you you we are inspired, you learned something from this design. I hope to see you replicate your designs. I hope to to see you maximize the resources you have in the description section to your use. Um, use it and create your own design create amazing things you can use your own brand name you can use your own information and you can create something awesome and i hope to see you in the next video if you're not yet subscribed to this channel do what to subscribe so you can be getting amazing videos amazing tips you can be learning more from this channel and i hope to see you in our next video